Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP route video practice exam and lab for you. We're going to be hitting those questions and the lab in less than 30 seconds here. Today's topic is EIGRP route summarization and it's a little different because I'm going to present you with four questions on the whiteboard in just a moment and they're all short answer. They're all things you really should know cold for your route exam. We're also going to do a little bit of summarization here, so you might want to grab something to write with. And let's go ahead and head to the questions. I want you to answer these four questions for me about EIGRP manual route summarization. And even if you think you know all four cold, stick around because we've got a good lab to go along with it. First off, in which config mode do you configure it? That would be handy to know. What's the exact command you're going to use? And I realize I haven't given you the network number or the mask yet, but you need to know the rest of that command. What is the exact administrative distance of that summary route? And finally, how exactly do you see that administrative distance? And what we've got is a simple lab here. I'll go ahead and bring up the equipment. And on router 1 here, this is where we're going to actually be performing the summarization. Router 1 has a couple of downstream neighbors that I'll show you in just a moment. And these are the routes that we're going to summarize. So we have the networks 4, 5, 6, and 7. And if you want to go ahead and start working on what you think that summary would be, fantastic. And let's take a look. You see no auto summary. We've got the networks listed there. And let's verify our neighbors before we start sending them something. There they both are. So let's go ahead and go back to the whiteboard for question one. Where do you configure this? And you actually configure EIGRP route summarization at the interface level. So that's going to be interface serial zero. We need to know the exact command. And it begins with IP summary address. And just about any time you've got EIGRP involved, you're going to have to put EIGRP in there and I would think the autonomous system number, which in this case is 100. So it's kind of a long-winded command so far. Like I said, I hadn't given you the network numbers that we're going to summarize yet, but you have them now. So what would 4, 5, 6, and 7 be? If you, again, if you want to pause the video, feel free. But it's going to be 4000 with a network mask or a summary mask of 252000. And that IP network mask is a requirement. You can see there's no CR here. So we've got to put that mask with it. It's 252000 because all four of those networks, 4, 5, 6, and 7, have the first six bits in common. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So those six bits would be set to 1 for the mask. So we're looking at 252.000. And you can change the administrative distance, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go with create. So there you go. And this would kind of be a handy thing to know that I've noticed a lot of books tend to leave out. When you configure this summary address, you're going to lose your neighbor relationships. The router even tells you why. Summary configured. So it's not something you want to do at peak times of the day uh, or night, but just make sure that you know that they should come right back up. If you haven't changed anything else, you know, come right back up as a relative term. But by the time we get to the next question, hopefully those adjacencies will be back, and there they are already. So that is a little bonus for you to know for your exam there. So we've got the summary address command down. We've got the summarization actually down too. Now what is the exact AD of the summary route? Now this is one of the first things you actually learn in your CCNA studies, right? Because you got those three EIGRP values that you got to learn. You've got 90 for a regular route, an internal EIGRP route. We've got 170 for an external route. That's one learned by via route redistribution. And then, of course, we have the summary route for five, of five, excuse me, the AD of five for the summary route. So the best thing we could do right now is to test that summary route. Now let's go down to router two. And we'll check the table out. And there are some other routes in here. We just got to get used to that kind of thing. But... Here's one EIGRP route, it's marked D, and there it is, 400 slash 6. And I can run that, of course, with show IP route EIGRP. It's a little easier to see there. And you can see that it's also learning about a network 3 from another router on another interface. So we're not concerned with that right now. But what we are concerned with is this. Why am I seeing an administrative distance of 90 right here? If the summary route has an AD of 5, 
Why am I seeing 90 here? And more importantly, how can I not see that? Where am I actually going to see the 5? Now, I've got another YouTube video just on this subject, but I'm not going to leave you hanging on this. I want you to see this. you got to kind of dig for it a little bit. It's show IP route, and what you want to do is follow it with the actual network. And that, in this case, is 4000. And then we're going to put the network mask that matches the summary. And that's it. And there is the administrative distance of 5. It is hidden in the show IP route command. And you can't just run show IP route. You've got to run show IP route followed by the network, uh, the summary route, if you will, and then the summary mask. So a lot going on there with those couple of questions. But again, with EIGRP manual route summarization, you're going to configure it at the interface level with the IP summary address, EIGRP command, followed by the autonomous system number, then the summary route, and then the summary mask. The exact AD of the summary is 5, and you saw how to see that just now. So thanks for watching today's Route Video Practice Exam and Lab. I look forward to seeing you out on our YouTube channel, our Twitter feed, and the Facebook uh, page as well. And also, we've got our books coming to Amazon.com this summer, the summer of 2012, depending on when you're watching this. And we're going to have some free books for each of the NP exams as well, some valuable stuff there, and everything will be Kindle, iPad, and everything else friendly too. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco Certification Success Story.